car lovers comment online surges when a new Alfa Romeo model goes on sale. And here's a brand new Alfa Romeo as well. We've got your attention now, don't we? It's a beautiful Alfa Romeo. In today's video, we are discussing the new Alfa Romeo Tonale Special Sports SUV. Kindly stay tuned till the end of this video to know more about the new Alfa Romeo. Thanks! This year's Geneva Motor Show will be remembered for the Tonale concept car. This is the same name as the commercial version and its design has not been harmed in any way. Well, apart from the standard concept to showroom peripherals, smaller wheels, bigger lights and mirrors, actual windscreen wipers, and door handles, there is much more to say about this car. If you're looking for an Audi Q3 sized crossover, this is the car for you. It's a PHEV with an electric drive to the rear wheels that totals 275 brake horsepower. Alpha stands behind the Tonale and its hybrid battery with a 5 year and 8 year warranty respectively. However, you may be wondering what Alfa Romeo has to do with this. Rolls Royce, Bentley and Bugatti were all previously competitors for this corporation. That invented the modern sports saloon and innumerable lovely coupes. Gordon Murray's winning Brabham's were powered by flat 12 engines from this company, and the Top Gear adage that you're not a car fan unless you've owned an Alfa Romeo was coined. Everyone hopes that the Alfa Romeo will continue to grow, however Alfa has a stubborn problem here. The sports saloon is fantastic, it is the best driving large crossover, that's not going to happen. Sales worldwide are drowned by the German equivalents, so Alfa has opted to construct a somewhat sporty crossover to meet purchasers needs. Alfa Romeo should stick to making beautiful fast cars as the company's history show it can do, rather than attempting to break into the more mundane segment of the market. Let's check with Jean-Philippe Imparito, the company's president. Stability is important to me. I am obligated to contribute to the profitability of Alfa Romeo. I can't get away from the most important parts of the globe. What is the most popular and fastest growing segment? C crossovers and B crossovers, which are both Tonale sized. Additionally, the Tonale is supposed to provide Alfa with some some breathing room and stabilize the ship. Alpha's current sales are insufficient to justify investing in the exciting future of high performance sports cars. Getting in cash from crossovers is expendent, so the Tonale isn't the only compact dish Alpha SUV coming our way. According to Empatito, a full electric or engine powered Alpha will be ready in 2024. A B crossover built on Peugeot 2008's basis, he does not deny when asked about it. In the midst of this, Alpha has to increase its global reach. This is why Imparito says he has hired Guan Yu Zhou, a Chinese F1 driver. In spite of Zhou's multi-million dollar personal fortune, he's pleased that Alpha has an F1 squad at a fraction of the cost of other teams. Similarly, Alpha must be savvy with its new car development funds. BMW, on the other hand, can afford to manufacture cars with a variety of powertrain options. All new Alphas will be electric after the 2024 crossover, which includes a gas gasoline option. Everything is on the line. You can't be half pregnant, he stated before. Stellantis's greatest platform with 118 kilowatts packs at 800 volts and charging rates of 20 miles per minute will be used by Alpha for the first time. As of today, I'll only be selling battery electric cars after 2027. The other Stellantis brands can continue with engines as he reminds us that Stellantis has 14. The switching from a gasoline powered car to an electric one should provide the same amount of range and charging speed as before, as well as the same driving experience and Alfa Romeo flair. I will keep it as long as I can obtain the correct performance and handle from the Quadrifoglio umbrella. To make sure that the ideal is realized, we're also working on a few one-of-a-kind cars limited editions. There will be a saloon, a GTV, and four crossovers available. He claims he still wants a Spider, but it's not his final goal. A full battery conversion is possible for the Tonale if the market shifts. Engines are now installed on the Tonale. On a substantially modified version of Jeep's chassis, it has new suspension suspension and engines and more aluminum than its sister brand. The Jeep was derived from the Giulietta, therefore Alpha has a long history in the gene pool. If you're in the market for an electric car that can get you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in only 6.2 seconds, you'll want to check out the top of the line hybrid electric car. A late addition of the Alpha's development team, Embarato says he delayed the Tonale's release to further optimize the electric range and handling. Moreover, Embarato says we're working on a Quadrifoglio version 
section of the tonale, but we won't push the green button unless we can obtain the highest performance. A 1.6 liter turbocharged Miller cycle engine powers the 48 volt hybrids, which have a DCT transmission and a 48 volt battery pack. They have an extra clutch between the engine and the motor, which is unusual for a mild hybrid, and this allows them to start and travel in electric mode. Alpha promises to be as efficient as diesel, However, there is also a 130 brake horsepower front wheel drive diesel available. A non-hybrid mechanical rather than electric four wheel drive would be ideal for the Americans and the Middle East. The following digital invention stands out in the current era dominated by cryptocurrencies and blockchain. The NFT for each tonale is unique. Afterward, the buyer owns the data and can add service data, mileage, the number of battery charges, and other information if desired. The second value will likely increase as a result of this certification. A new experience for the Alpha. To keep the cost of ownership down, boost customer confidence, and keep them coming back, it is critical to build reliability, strengthen utilized values, and extend the guarantee. By the way, Julia and Stelvio will get a similar treatment. The Tonale has all the driver assist features you'd expect in a car from 2022. Additionally, it has a 22.5 inch dash screen and is fully linked. With with twin portholes shading the driver's area, the dashboard can be made to resemble a 1970s Alfa Romeo. And besides, what's the harm? The SZ's Mostro's triple headlights, now with matrix LEDs, the Trilobite grills, and a rear glazing line that recalls the 8C Competition are all present on the exterior. In addition, there are telephone dial wheels. You'll probably have to look up what telephone dials are if you're a kid. It's a lovely car, and it's part of a nice plan for Alfa Romeo. It would be careless not to bring up previous good intentions gone array with the boss. Cars aren't to blame for the current slump in sales. This group has a lot of potential. What exactly is preventing these sales from taking place? It's been pointed out to me, so to speak. Rewind to the 1970s and the automobiles of our parents and grandparents. In their words, I love Alpha, but I have no money left left to buy two. So what do you think? We didn't have a good foundation to build on. It takes 30 years to build a brand and six months to destroy it. As a result, Alpha must be dependable and reliable. Every year, I plan to introduce a new model of my car. I will persuade Alfa Romeo customers that they can rely on the brand. His predecessors have repeatedly predicted that Alfa Romeo would sell three or four times as many cars as it did in this century, only to see the company shrink instead. What I'm trying to say is this. If you can't deliver, don't make a promise. Ever. Tonale's added value will become more evident over the next three years as I continue to add brick by brick. I think you just have to put your faith in the guy. The last time I saw him, he was CEO of Peugeot, and I'm reminded of that time. Quality tools were used to maintain prices stable and generate a profit margin for each car. Didn't these features already exist in the Stelvio and Giulia? There was no doubt about it. However, conceptualization is only 10% of the work, and implementation is 90% of the work. Thanks for watching today's video and kindly subscribe to the channel, like and leave a comment saying I subscribed and I'll personally reply to your comment. You can also add any more amazing car concepts that the world or us might have forgotten about. Thanks.